today I'm going to show you five simple lighting effects that I use all the time in my Procreate sketches. The flare, the soft brush technique, the uplight or downlight or backlight technique, the reflection, and the glimmer effect. And all of these are done very easily using five Procreate brushes. To do the flare effect, just select the flare brush from the brushes menu adjust the size and the opacity over here and then tap the pencil where your first light goes and to increase the illusion of perspective change the size slightly as you go because the lights would be getting smaller as they recede into the picture plane where the overhead light hits the wall you will often get the effect of a scallop of some kind so I like to do that by creating a scallop shape using the selection tool. Once you've created that shape, I'll use the soft brush to put in a little bit of light right at the top. And you can see the beginning of those scallop outlines. And then I'll often use the smudge tool, make that a little less distinct, but still faintly there. Of course, the soft light from the overhead lights will also come down and hit the floor, so I use the soft brush sometimes to create pools of light on the floor. Our next technique is the down light, or the up light, or the back light. When a light source is uh, occurring behind an object, and that puts that object into silhouette. For this technique, you want to be sure that the object that will be in silhouette is dark enough to create the effect. So the first thing I'm going to do is select this area, the nose of the bar, and I'm going to quickly put in a darker color with a soft brush, making sure that there's some contrast here. I'm going to select the same area again, and I'm going to reverse that selection and then I'm going to come in with white and the soft brush and apply the downlight glow. This has the effect of making it look as if there is a downlight underneath the bar top, washing light down. The same effect can be used for backlighting. Here you can see this plant has been placed here on its own layer. So we're going to come behind it on this layer of light and we're going to make it look like there is a small light behind the plant that's washing up along the wall. To create the reflection on the underside of this floating metal ceiling, I used the round brush or the soft brush to create kind of a sense that there's a large area of light being reflected onto this. That this effect will reflect what's ever below it or off to the ceiling. So you want to use it in a way that's logical with the lighting of the room. But the real effect comes in when I use the light pen. And the light pen can extend the flare as a line. And so you see that kind of neon buzzing it has. And it can really be used to dress up and imply that there's a very bright source of light somewhere below. And by pressing harder or softer, you can make that flare get more intense. The light pen is also great for creating the effect of neon against darkness. So if I choose the light pen and choose a neon color, I can come up to this section here and write as if I'm a neon sign. The last effect I'd like to show you is an effect you can create with a glimmer pen. To create the glimmer effect, you simply choose the glimmer brush, make sure you're on the white, adjust the size, and then come in, press down, and hold the brush. Now here there'll be very small bubbles. Let's make them even smaller. So there are five or six lighting techniques you can create very quickly using just the Procreate brushes 
and the color white. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. And thanks again for watching. Cut the cake, please.